dark, uh, the dark tree trunk first. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we don't need much ink. So I just get all the ink I have. At this point, I don't worry about any gradation. I just want a pure ink. Because I call this ink seed. Because the, the, the ink will will bleed like like uh, like this one. Okay. This is what uh, we do. So you, you you just write like a calligraphy. Okay, I can send that to oh. right side up. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, see the 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 bright strokes very sh very short. So you you have you have the void to, to begin with. Now you have the uh, it comes from wuji or the non being, not their beings, right? The the um, uh, the trees coming out from uh, nothing, right? Oh, that's great. Well, that's the, you've got it. So that's the lamp. Okay. <laughs> and you can you can do this uh, uh, scratching what do you call this uh, scampering uh, texture first, and then you add the little needles, uh, and you, the needle could be added anytime later. So at first we just want to create the atmosphere and uh, the momentum. Uh, this could be uh, vines, you know, something, something, something. So dry brushing in this texture. In the, uh, before um, it gets dry, don't wait. Okay, you want to start doing the, the washing or the color. You can use uh, uh, just use a brush like uh, similar to that texture. So I, I just use some indigo. Indigo, and you can use you can have some some color some uh, indigo some some ink some indigo, and uh, just add a little color. That's the okay, and uh, see this paper is uh, semi size it doesn't bleed right, and you want it bleed so what what we can do, just use this large soft brush. And uh, let me show you the, the newer technique is this. You kind of drain the, uh, let me see. You can use, see the, the this area is white, right? Mm -hmm. So you put the water in the white area. This, this is white first. Oh. And then you touch just a little bit of uh, those, uh, uh, Strokes, wet strokes, and these strokes becomes a canal, uh, so the water will come in, will come in like that. It will eventually replace the dark oh. to to make oh. it uh, into uh, um, light. Yeah, you don't have to use clean wa water because we don't have time. And this is what we do, just a mixture of, uh, <laughs> mixture, uh, you can use a, a brown, <laughs> just a brown and blue and ink, just uh, and entangled. There's no, no way I can tell what's, what's in there. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, here's the, the key. I put the, the final notes in the in the uh, see this is the, the split brush technique. See that that, that that kind of thing. And here is the the key. In this composition, this corner is uh, um, like this solid, and this is void. Okay. So you so the soft brush actually does better with uh, this technique. I right? see. And. Yeah, you can kind of ju just dry the, the water at the same time. Okay, now you have this uh, 
this foreground, and uh, you can you can you can add some uh, uh, definition. But uh, actually, this is not a foreground. This is tree is the foreground. This is the middle ground. So you just uh, don't have to. Yeah. But this color tells you it's uh, near ground. Then the the final layer has no no brown in it. So this one must have some brown in it. That's it. And the, this little little dryness, because I don't wet the whole thing, uh, it it should be kept there because this paper does the work. Because if it's a um, if it's a unsized paper, it, it would eventually come in. So now you can dry it. You can dry it. Let's see. Yeah, I think it shut off for a while. Oh, turn, yeah. It's fun to see it happen <laughs> and to smell it. Huh? It's kind of like a cookie. Yeah, I think it, uh, I had a, um, a good um, analogy here. When, when you paint this, it, it's like a stir frying. You go all the directions, it's stir frying. Yeah. You kind of stir frying. Stir, just imagine you're stir frying. That's the, yeah. Yeah. So you go all four directions. Yeah. Like that. Don't um, just stay with one. So now I I just use this soft brush. I didn't realize this is how it was easier. So I use uh, some color with the oh just the clean this table uh, this palette. So I just use some leftover ink here, blend with uh, uh, whatever gray uh, a blue to make a gray. Blue color, okay, and then dry it. Okay, it will dry lighter. So, and remember that that three rock, one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. one two three. As easy as one two three, right? Three, and the secondary uh, falls very foggy. Add water, just to. And there, there might be a little more there. So just dry brush, wet brush, and here. Okay, and then add the middle. Oops, that's the boo boo. <laughs> oh, just remember that the light comes from, from uh, blotting. Uh, can you just uh, integrate that and uh, and I need to, to define those little rocks. Okay, here the fall is above this, right? And, uh, it's you know, another group of three uh, rocks. That's it. And uh, consolidate this side. Okay, this is the left. It goes all the way up to the and you want to make sure it's not too broad. So the energy is accumulated and bust uh, at the bottom of this. Okay, here is another fall. Here is another fall, here is another fall. You, you don't really see on this paper, it become a, a hinder. <laughs> uh, a, a, not help for element. So uh, now I, I should see this uh, in, in the... In the uh, yeah. See, you can blend in this all together with some spray. Okay. And I have some uh, clouds there, and I, I, I think this line nice, and I'll just keep it. But uh, if you want to, you can color the other upper portion. So uh, let's see. Let's just see. I just want to have some room for. I think it will be done in five minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's only five. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was racing with the, the clock. Yes. Yeah, you, you did that really fast. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now it's dry. 
And then let's do the figure again. Okay. We, we need to save time for the figure, for sure, <laughs> because you don't want to rush on this one. Right. Okay, the, the figure is one on, on the, uh, actually, it cutting the shape under it, right? Um, and we, because we're using the pink with white, so we can do that, no problem. So we just do this here. It's kind of difficult to, uh, different than the original. I think he, he did the figure first, and he yeah. said when you wash the background, you, you need to be very uh, decisive, you know, with no hesitation, and use the uh, iron to control. And uh, I don't have a chance to do that. I, I have to use white to cheat. Mm -hmm. Okay, unfortunately. And this is the guy. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay. Let's use dark to dot the the um, the hair, and then here the beard, the corners, and the the, uh, the sleeve, the big sleeve, uh, the this one the corner, the side view, right? Okay, this is a lady, so. Uh, with a long skirt, a large skirt, something like that. I just painted the gesture, I think. And this is it's the elderly um, person. Okay. Let, let's use white. I just use clean brush. I think we have some left over. Oh, not enough. Okay, the pink I have here is still. The, just, you can use white first on both of them and then just color this one with the. Okay, let me just mix it easier. I just mix a little rouge. Or carmine, I think it would be better. Rouge is a little, little uh, cool, like a dark. But, just a little a hint of a pink. And you can you can change the set the hue or saturation later. Well, it's Dr. Martins. You can paint on it after it dries. They said, right? Yeah, it's a, the advantage of why you use Dr. Martins, right? So I just use the some kind of blue color for this one. That's it. And uh, uh, that, that face is not uh, nice enough. Let me try one more time. Okay, that's it. And you can use my, uh, I use my old, old, uh, primary school brush, <laughs> 50, 50 years old brush to, to just, oops, to, to dry, uh, to, to wet and dry it first. It shifts off after a while. Yeah. It just shifts off when you're not moving it. Mm. If you want to go on, just move it. Yeah, I think it's still hot. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's okay. So, um, you use an iron just not to, just saving time, but saving knives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to make the, the foreground and the middle ground darker. Mm -hmm. so you, so just to add. Uh, just you know, like stir frying again in all directions. It's not that easy brush to use because it's so soft. <laughs> I cannot use it to write anything. <laughs> um, but it brings me uh, my childhood uh, <laughs> memories. And, uh, your old friend. Yeah, my old friend. So it, it, that's your history, your 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 personal. Uh, we can start soon enough. Yeah. <laughs>
it's just, uh, um, I'm an archaeologist. I don't throw away anything that become, my old paintings is fine enough. And I have uh, to convince my wife that they are valuable <laughs> to keep. Because uh, uh, Huang Binghong, one of the masters today, um, he had two exhibitions, one in his late 80s. And they found like 4,000, uh, I mean, uh, 10,000 paintings. Wow. And in his basement, stinky. <laughs> and he don't even bother to look at it. And he just let the curator do that job <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> to, to find the, the golden time in that. And uh, later, after the show, it was uh, it become a uh, possession of the, the provincial uh, um, museum. And now it's, uh, you know, in, in Hangzhou. Yeah. So you, you never know. Masterpieces. Masterpieces in, in the garage. In the garage. <laughs> yeah. And it's a diagonal, diagonal mm -hmm. composition, and I, I, I lost I that uh, dark trunk. Let me see if I can just do it mm. on the back. Or oh, something. that's the trunk. Mm. Well, you started out with the trunk, but it's not. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to bring that back a little bit, um, just to maybe add a little brown. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Do some diagonals. Okay. Dark. Mm -hmm. Some uh, color intensity needed. Uh, finally, after it all dries, you need to dot the corns uh, in, in the tree with uh, mustards. Yeah. And there's some strokes on the ground, looks like a shadow or something. I just dried the brush, just the exhaust to the, the hands. Yeah. And uh, finally, you want to use the uh, darker stark, and we can just use the black in the palette, I think, and now I use that. But it, because it's too glossy, I think. And you can make it into color uh, later if you want to add green dots, you can also do that. Uh, it's very common today to add, to embed the diamond kind of uh, red, azurate, you know, into the dark dots to make it a more uh, interesting to show you what's that, what does that mean. You have to use uh, this uh, opaque green color, right, on the, on the dots, in the center of the dots, to give it a, a yeah, you don't, you don't use it alone. You, you have to put it just in this. This is embedding. Oh wow, that's important. Mm. Green dots. Yeah, green dots. Green dots are brown. So you, you got the, all the colors here. So I'm not really painting detail, I'm painting depths. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, if you want to add a cast shadow, uh, combine. Or the list the trees and maybe. Actually, if you have less time, you 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 tend to uh, to work more uh, on the essence. Yeah. Yes. You know? So mm -hmm. timing is uh, that's what his secret. He never um, showed his process because uh, it's the entanglement stage, the undefined. So he end up with thousands of. Uh, Paintings have done uh, only like a half, less than half. It has the potential to be developed, uh -huh. mm -hmm. left uh, you know, behind. Mm -hmm. So his uh, family used that uh, mm -hmm. partly for his toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Huh. And you can look, uh, listen to the interview, uh, which is uh, actually a good summary of his book. Uh, if it's, you know you have time, I have three episodes of the entire interview, like two hours. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.
And he's told all those stories uh, when we visited mm. there. Um, to, yeah. So that's the. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to <coughs> sign maybe on this side because this is not a copy of the, the any anybody's. Right? <laughs> we just sign our names. I I have. Oh, I got some uh, some dots on the. Because uh, you, oh, it's, oh, it's on the on the iron, so oh, on iron. Yeah. Well, that's good. You know what? That's a divine that's touch. Good. The divine touch. <laughs> you can make them into birds, you but you look yeah. at the look at the look at the rhythm. Look yeah, at that. Girl. Look at the chi. It's beautiful. Yeah. Because <laughs> I had an uh, uh, argument with a client in. Canada, and uh, she bought a scroll with this kind of splatters, and she returned it because she said, "I have, I'm a collector of dozen Chinese, uh, Asian Chinese uh, classic scrolls or Japanese scrolls. I never had this before." <laughs> okay, also this is contemporary. It's a Jackson Pollock after Jackson Pollock. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, anyway, I take it back. I did it again, and that piece was not in home of uh, Marie's <laughs> in, in Wisconsin. Uh, mm. I, I sold two pieces, so mm. you can always turn the um, criticism. Yeah, criticism yeah. or some mistake into. Uh, Not everybody thinks it's a mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's the entanglement of uh, wave and uh, particles, always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was complicated. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Very good. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign and then take a picture to send uh, to the class later. So don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, I want to take. Yeah, you you can take a picture okay. here. Uh, let me put on. Uh, you, you can come in to take. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. 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 Thank you.